Hi there, and welcome to this video. Today we're going to talk about what's new in Notebook 16. So we got a couple nice new features to look at here. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the new themes uh, that are in Smart Lab. Uh, one thing to take a note with Lab, if you take a look up here at the top, before we had it as a magic hat, now we've got this game alien looking guy from uh, you know Space Invaders. So there is an icon change. So Lab is still there, just a uh, new, slightly new name, being Smart Lab, and then also, like I said, new icon. But one of the new themes we have here is Rock Band, um, or Rock Stars. And if you can hear it, you'll notice that we actually have some sound um, to go along with it. So let me do a couple here. So a little bit there, a little change, a little more interactivity for your students. Uh, two other new themes. Um, one of them is monsters. So you'll notice we have sound with this one as well. Um, and then the other new one, it's the look is the same, but uh, sound has now been added. Um, if we do our underwater theme, there's a little bit of underwater sound going on there. So um, that's what's new with Lab. Uh, the next thing I want to look at is over here in our Add-ons tab on the right-hand side. You'll notice we have a new icon here for Image Web Search. So now we have options to go out there and do some searches. We can look for pictures or clip art. Um, so you can see here I did a search for summer under clip art. So we got all different kinds of images here, and I can drag them on. Now you'll notice with each image, um, there is a link here. And what this link will take you out to is where the picture came from. So we have our direct link. So we're teaching our kids here a little bit um, in our internet safety curriculum here in terms of uh, citing sources and making sure they link back to where they belong and things of that nature. Um, and I can do the same thing. So if I switch over to picture, same idea. So now we're looking at pictures, and the links are there as well for that. So that's a new feature there. Uh, we have an image search. The next new thing I want to talk about is in our gallery, there are some new HTML5 widgets. So the easiest way to do a search here, I'm just going to do a search for widget. And you'll notice in my interactive and multimedia here is 5. Now, obviously, if you've added other widgets like I have on different computers, that list would be bigger. But here are the five that we have. Um, there's a new clock. Um, we have some dice, uh, an interactive pull tab, spinner, and timer. They all work kind of like what you would, how you think they would work, um, but they're now HTML5 based instead of Flash based. So that's a big uh, thing there. We want to um, start moving everything over. Um, and stop relying as much on those flash items because um, as you might have seen warnings in previous versions of Notebook um, that flash items might not work for you. So um, switching over to these HTML5 widgets uh, will help out greatly. Uh, another new feature, we're going to go back to our add-ons tab here. And you'll notice we have Smart Response 2 Beta. Now keep in mind, this is a beta. This is not the full release of Smart Response 2. Um, you know, different things could happen, name changes, feature changes, things of that nature, but it is here for you to try out. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to add a one question quiz here just so you can see what it looks like. So when you click on it, it pops up, I can add my title. Um, so we'll just call this sample. I can put instructions if I like. Um, paste right now is student paste. Um, and we're going to see the results afterwards. So we're going to click next. And then add a question. So this is similar to some of the lab activities. So I'm just going to do an easy question, what color is the sky? And you'll notice here that I could upload graphics if I like. Same thing with my question types. So let's just do blue, red, green. Let's say I only want to do three and not the four. So I'm going to click in D here and I'm going to get rid of that one. So I can add more choice if I want and take some away. And I can add more questions if I like, but I'm just going to keep this simple with one question. Hit done. And when I'm ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And 
And so you'll notice here that we have, it's got to connect out the class lab. So as a student, I can jump over here to the web and then go to class lab. So my activity ID, 2785567, put my name in there, and I'm going to join the activity. Now, I have not started it yet, so it's telling me waiting on the teacher, so you can see what it looks like um, if you want to get your students in ahead of time. And I'm going to go ahead and start the activity. And you're going to see here how the live results, how are the kids doing overall in the quiz. So I'm going to come back over here, let's answer blue. You immediately see that it jumped to 100% answered. Um, I'm going to click next here. It's going to let me review how things are going. So I'm going to submit all my answers. You know, basically telling you, hey, you hit submit. You can't change your answers. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. And my answers have been submitted. So then the teacher can come in here. I'm going to end the assessment. And now we can review each question, see how the students did. If we had more students in here, you would see uh, this bar changing and things of that nature. Um, and just like other lab activities, I can go in here and edit after the fact. Now, once you've started an assessment, had the assessment, if I go back and edit the assessment, um, I will lose those results. Make sure you copy those down. Um, the one last feature that is kind of hard to show um, that was with Notebook 16 is the installer was simplified, a little bit easier process, which is always great. So that's new what's in Notebook 16.